Hi Virgo and welcome to your singles love reading for December 2020. Uh, you can be newly singled, you could be looking for love, you could be looking for partnership. This is for those that are born August 23rd to September 22nd and you're a mutable earth sign. So I've been shuffling the cards, I'm going to whoa, shuffle them one more time. I've had a lot of hard work. I don't usually take that many jumpers, so. But it was definitely a part of hard work. You're putting in the hard work, it seems like. All right, let's see what we've got. Virgo, single, unattached, looking to be attached, looking to be partnered, looking for love, looking for companionship. All right. Ooh, good card. Holding on to what's yours. It's a pentacle. It's a, um, or a sign. Uh, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Can be. Um, usually has to do with money. It has to do with Maybe, I can't say miserly, but I see it as holding on to what's yours. You're holding on to what's yours. Um, and I think that could be holding on to you. You know, you're holding on to yourself. You're holding on to your self-esteem. You're holding on to um, your self-worth. You're not letting that go. It could be something in the past. Maybe you did. Maybe you had... A bad relationship where you kind of lost yourself in it and I think you've been found and you're not gonna let it go so moving into the future or the present moment is the death card and that is having to release something which could have been that bad relationship or the old relationship in order to start something new uh, you, something has to die in order for something new to begin something new to transform something new to manifest you have to let something physically go. And I think you may have done that in the past with that past relationship that took part of you with it. But you're ready to start new. You're ready to start fresh. And again, that pinnacle. So, you know, could be you, could be another Virgo, could be a Taurus or a Capricorn being the earth sign. Very grounded, very grounded person. And the death card is the sign of, uh, card of Scorpio. Wow. You have the sun card. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. Two major arcana. Three. Three in a row. Look at that. On the bottom we have the six of pentacles. It's a card of give and take. It's a card of balance. It's a card of um, fairness. You know, if you dole out for one person, you need to dole out for everyone. Not to play favorites. All right. So again, as I said before, we have a card of four pentacles. Is showing me that you you are holding on to not only your money, but your self esteem, self worth, who you are, who you've become, um, what this person in your past has done to you. You're not going to forget, and you're going to grow and learn from it. And you're ready to let that person go, that whole situation. Just because you might forgive somebody doesn't mean you'll forget ever. So this card is just, again, a card of rebirth. It is a card of letting something go. So something new, all that beautiful sunrise in the background, which you have the sun card in your future coming in. So that's right on the horizon. And I have a feeling, you know, Virgo is such a... Um, analytical person that people they think you know a lot not I mean not a, not that they overthink but they they um they are the thinkers and they they are also the doers so I just have a feeling that once you've made your mind up you've already thought through what you're going to do and how you ended the relationship and you're done <laughs> once you're done you're done you're done 
And then what you have coming into your future is, again, it's Page of Pentacles. It's a new relationship. It's new. It's not this same old person coming back from the past. It could be somebody younger than you. Um, but again, it has to deal, uh, it, it could be another Virgo or a Taurus or a Capricorn coming in. Um, but it's definitely not the same person coming back and a new relationship coming in. And it could have, it could have something to do with work. You could meet this person through work. Um, but it's definitely a, uh, it, it's, it's a gift. It, you're being given this opportunity to see it. It's, you know, it could come through a message. It could, could, could come through like, um, online or something like that. If you online date, you might meet them on there, uh, possibly what you, what, what is the underlying card, which is your unconsciousness that you're not aware of is justice and justice, um, Justice is a card of Libra. And it's just, again, the balance. The give and the take. Um, with the Six of Pentacles. Again, the balance. Justice is fair. If you are having um, any type of legal issues, then they will go in your favor. If it's an underlying... Um, if something's that's underlying in from this relationship, you know, if there's children involved and there's custody, you know, it will go in your favor. If it's some type of underlying current, um, that will be, it will be balanced out and justice will be served. She's pretty no nonsense. But she is a card of Libra, or it is a card of Libra. So you got Libra, Scorpio, with the Death card. And you got the beautiful Sun card at the top. And the Sun card is definitely a new beginning. Uh, the Sun will rise again, so to speak. Um, you have that, again, that new feel. And this kind of looks like a Sun there, too. You have that new feel, that new beginning, that new... Kind of like going outside when you have um after a, a rain and everything's fresh and new seeing the situation seeing the world in a sense through different eyes being really appreciative for what you have and what can come of this relationship that's really a, a powerful reading definitely especially with the three major arcanas right in a row Descend the death and justice. So you could say, you know, you got new beginnings coming in when you release the past, let go of the old so the new can come in and justice will be served. I mean, that's all. It's really a good reading for the new person coming in. I think it'll be a very fair and balanced relationship. I think um, maybe in the past it wasn't. That's why you look so balanced in this. That's why you're holding on to your um, your stuff. You're holding on not only to your physical stuff. You're holding on to your emotional. You're holding on to you. You're not going to let that you, you part go again. You won't be losing yourself in this relationship at all. All right. Let's pull a love card. Oh, I hate when I throw all the cards on the floor. Goodness gracious. <laughs> so sorry. At least I don't have that far to, to go. All right, let's try that again. Love card for Virgo for singles. Those of them, those of you all out there that are single, looking for love, looking for a partnership. Looking for a committed relationship. All right. I love the sun card at the top. That's your future. That's your consciousness. That's what you're coming into. Good gracious. So that is beautiful. 
It's a beautiful, beautiful card. All right. Hmm. Relationship patterns. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. And I think that's exactly what you did here. I think you maybe saw that you were losing yourself or losing, or the relationship wasn't going the way you wanted it to. You, It had to come to an end so something new could begin. Um, again, this won't resonate with every Virgo. If it resonates with you, I would love to hear from your comments below how this um, affects you or how it's played out in your life. I love the irises. It's a beautiful card. It takes strength to recognize the need for change. And that is something that I know Virgo has firsthand. I know a lot of Virgos, and they are strong. All right, let's pick a surrender card. And this card is what you need to consider uh, surrendering or thinking about um, changing, in a sense, in order for the new relationship to come in and... To help, to help the new relationship as it comes in. Something you need to surrender from your past. Something you need to surrender from you now. Hmm. Surrender the drama, Virgo. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issue more quickly. And that, again, I think could be coming from the past. It could be coming some, some from this... If there's some legal action that's that needs ha, is going on or ongoing or in the background or you know coming up and there's a lot of drama that's surrounding that you need to just remain calm and don't contribute to it don't don't play into it so that's a good reading um, I think you've done a lot of work. You've, you really know who you are going into this new relationship coming in. You really, you're ready to let a lot of the past, you're ready to let the past go completely. Because you know one thing, you know that you're not going to go back to the, to a relationship that way. You're guarding, you're guarding your heart, you're guarding everything. But you'll let the right person in. And this is a totally different relationship coming in. So, Virgo, thank you for watching. If you would like to comment below, if this resonates with you, I'd appreciate it. Um, you can contact me below. You can email me if you like a reading, personal reading, private reading. I'm available. Thank you for your trust and enjoy December. This will go through um, December, uh, today's I think the 13th, when I get it uploaded probably, you know, today, tomorrow, and my guides have been telling me all day that these readings are going to go at least through January 20th. So good luck to you, and I would love to hear how this resonates with you. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi Virgo, welcome to your December 2020 love reading. This is for those of you that are in a relationship, either you're partnered, you're coupled, you're married, you're committed, however you want to, you know, however you think of the situation as. This is for those that are born August 23rd through September 22nd, and you are a mutable earth sign, Virgo. So let's see what this has to say, what the cards have to say for you today. All right, out of the bat, you got the magician, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. Hope y'all are doing well. If y'all are ready for the holidays here in the States, or um, if you celebrate, not just the States, everybody celebrates, I guess. Huh, card's been popping up a lot. Popped up into the singles reading I just did. Hmm. That's really crazy, too, to have two major arcanas right next to each other. All right. Okay, 
just a second to get these cards out for you. All right, two more. Whoop, there's one. Huh. Oh, we got three. No, we can't do that. We're going to do this one. There we go. And on the bottom of the deck, you have the full card. So that could be a new beginning. Could be striking off on your own. We'll see. This is you, and this is your partner. This is what you think of your partner. And what you think of your partner is that they can do anything. They can do anything they put their mind to. They are very smart and gifted and intelligent and uh, crafty and, you know, a genius in their own right. And again, they can do anything they put their mind to. That is what you think of your partner. What your partner thinks of you, <laughs> it is a death card, but it's also a card of transformation. It's a card of letting something go in order for something to be reborn. So this is, this is to me, a card saying that... Um, you've had, you know, what he thinks of you or she thinks of you is that they're, no matter what the situation is that you've gone through, how dark your day is, you can always see the light at the end of the tunnel. You always think that, you know, good things are coming, good things are around the corner. Um, you always see the sun, the sun will shine again. Uh, even though things might get dark and gloomy, that you never lose hope. This is how you feel about your partner. And it is the Eight of Wands. The Wands are a sign of passion, and there's eight of them. So I think I, that doesn't need too much explaining. <laughs> you're very passionate of how you're, you feel very passionate towards your partner. Um, and, and it's reciprocated. This is the Ten of Cups. They're very emotionally attached, emotionally charged, emotionally... Um, involved it with you um lots of emotion there we have um ten of cups is the ten is a number of uh an ending one cycle and beginning again so the death card is number 13 death is also a scorpio card uh, a card of scorpio so your partner might be a scorpio but you all feel you know emotionally and passionately toward each other beautifully this is how your partner shows up um, for the relationship or, or during the relationship. And this is a Seven of Cups card in reverse. And Seven of Cups card is a card of a lot of choices. So how they show up, they could be a little dreamy. They could have their heads in the cloud a little bit. Um, they could be um, have that emotional, uh, what's up? what am I looking for, fantasy a little bit kind of like, um, I, I don't want to say airy, but just kind of, you know, more imagination and more thoughts and more emotions. You know, they, maybe they like to read and they like to get themselves lost in books too. Maybe they're not present completely the whole time. Maybe that's what bothers you a little bit. That how they show up, maybe they're not completely present a lot of the time that you want them to be there and how you show up to them is a justice card and it is a sign of um obviously justice it, it is a uh, she's very balanced it's card of libra so your partner you know um this could be coming from a libra maybe i don't know but she's very fair uh, Again, very balanced. Her scales are right even with each other. She wields a sword. She's no nonsense or he's no nonsense. So they feel that, you know, you mean what you say and say what you mean. And you don't mess around when it comes to what you want. Um, you're very fair. And, you know, they respect you for that, definitely. The um, 
where you are right here and now in the relationship, it looks like there's been some, maybe some words that have been said or maybe some thoughts that have been going through both your minds maybe. Maybe you've been talking. Maybe the communication's been there. And maybe it's... Um, it might have not gone off like it was planned. It might have gone off where things were a little sharper than intended. Um, or you weren't as careful with your words as you should have been as it was as this stands right now so this is like you know kind of just if you look right this second into your relationship you all might have just had a fight but what you have to do is this is the overall energy of the reading for the future and it's a high priestess so you have to trust your instincts and trust yourselves you know again this is another major arcana card and you know you know, you know each other and you know this could have happened if it was a spat, if you all got angry at each other. Don't forget all this. This is the foundation. This is the work you all have put into the relationship. So this is just a passing, you know, say your apologies really know that this person or that person really isn't like that. Know your intu intuition. Trust your intuition. Trust your intuition on that because, you know, you're, you're never wrong on your intuition. And this card can also be a card that somebody might be taking something from you that's not theirs to take. So hopefully... I'm not seeing like a third party in this, but it could be that they were maybe doing something that they weren't supposed to be doing. Maybe they were talking to somebody. That, you know, either you didn't want them to be talking to or they shouldn't have been talking to. Maybe it was an ex or an old girlfriend or old boyfriend or... You need to trust your intuition and trust your gut feelings. You have the Fool card, and it's also saying, you know, again, you can go on the Fool's Path. You could walk alone on this journey, which I guess, if it came, I don't see any breakup on that in this, though, worthy of that. But it's also to re-remember that newness, that new beginning, that new, when you all both were together and, and you know, learning each other. Maybe it's time to go back to that and relearn each other. Have your talk. Talk things out. You know, talk things out. Don't ye yell and scream. Be civil with each other. I think you will be, definitely. You know, with the Justice card and and that could be why this person was showing up to the relationship where he was his head's in the clouds or her head's in the clouds and she's not really acting like she's present or he's present so that could be why maybe that there was another person involved but I don't think I don't think it was an affair or anything like that if this resonates with you please comment down below um, I know it won't be it won't resonate with every Virgo but if it does please comment down below um, you can like, share, subscribe if you like a private reading. My email is down there too. So this just really stands out at me as, you know, don't forget that you both are high priestesses, that you both have that innate ability to trust your instincts. You have that balance. You have that knowledge. So remember... Remember that. That's very prominent in this. The partner has three major arcana. You have the magician. So, I'd say the brunt of this is your partner's doing. 
And again, I would talk things out and try to start things new. Try to try to go back to that. I mean, we can never go back, but try to go. Um, if you talk things through and restart or re commit, recommit to each other. All right, let's pull a love card for you. Let's see what else we can add to this. Ask for help, definitely. Definitely, definitely. This says, ask for help. What do you, you really need? Be willing to accept support. And that can come from your, your partner or it can come from somebody else. It doesn't have to be your partner that, you know. Our partners can only do so much. We have to, that's why we should have other people in our life. Not for, you know, for support. Not for other things like that, but. It takes, it takes a lot of people, and not everyone can give you everything you need. So don't, for, don't be afraid to ask for help. You know, everybody doesn't know everything, and other people know things. So if you need help with some things, and your partner is clueless on it, um, then, you know, it's just like if you were having medical issues and your partner wasn't in the medical field and you kept asking your partner about it and they're like, I don't know, I don't, I, I really don't know. I wish I could help you. Go to the doctor. <laughs> Go to somebody that can help. There's people around you that can help. And that goes for both of you. Not just you in, that's watching this. This is a surrender card. There's one for you and there's going to be one for your partner. And it's something that you can surrender to or give up or um, start working on that will help strengthen your relationship. And yours is, I surrender negative thinking. You have control over your thoughts. When negative thoughts surface, say thank you for sharing and quickly refocus on positive affirmations. And this could be, remember when I said that, you know, the words aren't there, the thoughts aren't, could be negative going on so that could be part of it's a beautiful card though so you need to work on surrender your negative thinking and your partner needs to surrender to effortlessness stop pushing so hard the art of living means going with the flow instead of trying to force the river beautiful card them up here all right Virgo there you go I hope that helps I hope that resonates with some of you um, have a wonderful December this will be from December 14th 15th ish through January they keep telling me all day January 20th so that's where we're at thanks for watching have a blessed day